Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuhu. Brothers and sisters, welcome to Shunali Utid Football Night on NTV. With me, I have a guest today from last year's UK Masters champions as well as runner up. And also, I have representative from Shunali Utid UK and also uh, one other team from the Masters. Let me introduce you to the guest first. Uh, on my left, I have Rashid Ali, um, who is um, from the team uh, of champions from last year. Um, and beside him is Jamaluddin uh, from Shedwell. And uh, they were runners up last year. And on my right, I have brother Abdul Mukit Nanu. Uh, he is from Weavers uh, FC. And on his right is Brother Said Salik Ahmad from Shunali Oti UK. Um, can I welcome you all to Shunali Oti Football Night? Thank you for joining us. Thank, Thank you. To you. Thank you. For Thank you. Um, brothers and sisters, UK Masters is truly a national uh, tournament. Um, it will take place on 7th of August in London. And in this tournament, we will have teams from as far as Oldham, Birmingham, Milton Keynes, Luton, Bedford, and all over London. And Masters is a tournament that actually um, brings together the talent within the Bangladeshi community uh, from all over the country. Um, let me just first of all go to um, Rashid Ali. Rashid, your team Muhammadan were the champions last year. In fact, they were champions three years in a row. Mm -hmm. um, how do you feel about uh, being champions three years in a row? Uh, obviously, we're very proud about that. In fact, it's not, uh, it's not easy winning this tournament once, never mind three times in a row. Um, so as a, as a team, I think we're incredibly proud um, and privileged uh, to be uh, participating uh, and, and hopefully trying our best to take it for the fourth time. Uh, it won't be easy, but uh, it's, it's, we, we hope um, that it takes a long time for somebody else to win it three times in a row. We know f the fourth time it would be an almost impossibility for somebody else to repeat that. So um, our motivation is there, really. Jamal, your team, Shedwell, was the runner, runners up last year. Do you think you can stop uh, Mohammed and making it four, four times in a row? Unfortunately, I think you are right. We was the runner up. Uh, uh, I don't know, luckily, probably, or I think they deserve it in a way because they won it three times in a row, Mohammedan. Uh, but to win it again, I would say it's impossible. And uh, we should well really have something to say about that this yes. year. But I think uh, there's always the possibility because if they could do it three times in a row, uh, I think there's um, every chance that they can go for the fourth time. Well, um, definitely, because uh, Mohammedan, as you know, we'll, we all know, because they won it three times. They got talent there. They got some exceptional players from past uh, in our community. So, you know, they got every chance as the other teams as well. Yes. Nanu, um, obviously um, we have the champions and the runner, runners up sitting next to each other. Uh, from the neutral point of view, what do you think? Um, do you think um, Mohammedan uh, can make it four times? Uh, their favorite. So, obviously we're in there, to, uh, we're in there as well. We've got a very strong team. So there is no reason why, you know, we can't challenge them or we'll match them. Mm. You know. um, we will go on to um, talk about the teams in details. Um, last week we had the draw for um, UK Masters. Um, let us have a look at the, um, the groups. Um, can we have a look at the groups, please? Slideshow. Yes. Um, if we analyze the teams group by group, um, we have in group A, we have Birmingham, Golden Moon, Sparta Gluten, Revive Legends, Northwest Brotherhood, Weavers FC. Um, now, uh, Sadbai, um, these group systems uh, that we, um, we have created, we have four seeded teams. Do you want to tell us about the seeded teams? 
Yeah, absolutely. I think uh, one thing we've got to very, be very clear is we've got a few very strong teams. Mohamedan obviously are going to be one of the favourites, but bear in mind the four teams. Uh, so Mohamedan obviously are one of the, uh, the seeded teams. Yeah. We've got Birmingham who, if you look at the records, have been very consistent and probably just missed out on the trophy last year and probably the year, year before as well. Uh, Shadwell as well, I mean obviously Chamar Jamal is here and he will tell you, you know, they're obviously again a very strong team. And I think this year again I think they will uh, be, um, come out very strong and I think that they've got a point to prove and, and I'm sure they, they want to win, win this trophy. Obviously all this other teams will have something to say but they will, they will, they'll, they'll be out there, they will really want to win, the, win this tournament. Again I think the other team as well, Poplar, I mean obviously you've got to mention uh, it's a London team, they're a very strong team and, and I think we all know their credentials as well. You know, uh, they are very strong, they're a f strong team, um, playing in one day tournaments and again I think playing in our Masters, I think over the years you know, they've been very consistent. They've probably just missed out but I think again they will be prepared and they will come out and say yes, you know, we've got a point to prove and we want to win this win this tournament. Mm. And I think just one other point as well, Weavers, I think this is their first year if I'm not mistaken. Yeah. So they're one of the new teams. And I think we've got a few new teams. So again, uh, we all know Weavers, uh, again, cup competitions, they're very good. So again, I think it doesn't matter, yes, we've got a few seeded teams, a few strong, very strong teams, but Weavers, Weavers will say, you know, uh, underestimate or at your own peril. Okay. Um, for the um benefit of the viewers, I'd just like to explain that um, we have four groups um, in tournaments. We have divided the teams into four groups. Altogether, we have 24 teams. And the team that's named at the top of the group are the CD teams. So the four CD teams are Birmingham, uh, Mohammedan, Shedwell, and Poplar Legions. Now, I have uh, here, uh, Rashid, who is from Mohammedan, and their team is one of the CD teams, and they're also last year's champions. Um, uh, Rashid, looking at your group, uh, which is Group B, um, run us through the teams, um, the ones you know, and what do you um, see as their strengths? Right, okay, Alman uh, uh, Firstly, uh, to go back a bit, and I, I know everybody's been kind and said we're sort of favourites. And without coming across arrogant, I mean, we are used to winning trophies. But if you look at the history of football, whether it be sort of mainstream professional level or even amateur level, to win a tournament, and we're talking about one-day tournaments, we're not talking about a league, um, you know, once or even twice or three times in a row, it's incredibly difficult um, because there's a turnover of players, new teams come in, you know, people develop their players and so on. So I think for us to go for a fourth time, I think our motivation is really there to try and see if we can do that. The other issue that comes into play is the age factor. We're not getting younger. And you know, the youngsters are coming up. People become 35 quite quickly now these days. So um, it's going to be incredibly difficult uh, for us, I think. Uh, but looking at our group, um, you've got, I mean, I, I know most of the teams. Um, St. Catharines uh, are, are a sort of pretty recent team from my understanding. Um, and they're, they're doing quite well in the, in the Vets leagues and so on. Um, I think one of the favourite has got to be Silet FC. Um, mm -hmm. Silet are a new team, I think they've formed quite recently. They've got a, a lot of young players uh, and a lot of new players. Some of the better young players have found home in Silet FC. So I think, I think they're one of the favourites and they've played in a few tournaments and they've actually done, done quite well. Um, Hawk and Eagle again, uh, another recently formed team and they, they compete in the, in the Vets leagues as well. So they um, they know the sales around the tournaments. Um, we have Shagor FC. Now, Shagor is a, a very histor historical club, uh, but it's been reformed recently. A lot of friends g uh, have got together uh, and, and have started playing at Shagor FC. A lot of them I know that they're, they're sort of very close friends of mine. Um, I think if they could get out of the group, they'll be happy. Uh, but I wouldn't be surprised if they did well, because some of the players have been playing for a long time. Um, and Milton Keynes, I mean, Milton Keynes are, are a difficult team to predict because on the day they can be very good. Uh, if it doesn't go well for them, then it can be quite bad. So I see Silet FC and St. Catharines, uh, along with perhaps us, as being three really strong teams in that, in that group. In that group. Yeah. Uh, um, yes. 
Um, viewers, um, we will put the studio number on the screen now uh, and you will be able to join us. If any of the teams uh, or the players who are, who are actually watching the show and would like to join in in the discussion, uh, please do so. Um, our studio number, I'll ask the te technicians to put the studio number on the screen and please do call and join in because we would like to hear from you as well. Who do you think is the favorite this year? Um, any particular team that you favor or any players that you, you actually think will actually shine in this tournament this year. So um, once you have the number on the screen, uh, please do call us and join in. Um, um, Jamal, uh, you're in Group C, Shedwell. Yes. Um, run us through the teams. Well, uh, uh, to me, uh, it's a group, group of uh, death probably, uh, the way I see it, because a lot of... Uh, established experienced team there i mean the islam been a lot of youngsters there playing for a long long time mm -hmm. although they're not uh, they reformed again recently london tigers for last uh, you know five six years they've been winning almost uh, uh, most of the tournament so the uh, london, so tigers, london that, tigers must be one of the favorites london tigers i think i think in our group london tiger is the favorite or maybe one of the favorite for the tournament and uh, also the Riverside is a new team, is a good young team as well. Mm -hmm. uh, Shedwell, obviously our motivation will be to win it this year because we was runner up last year. Uh, and last time we won it quite uh, while well back, I think about three, four years now. So it's quite a long time. So uh, like Rashid said, uh, you know, Shedwell team is not going any younger. Uh, the other team is catching up and a lot of young players. So <coughs> also Finsbury Park, been playing in our tournament for a few years now, I think three, four years. So they are also a good side, good footballing side. River side, young side as well, and Dawatul Islam, like I said, mm. and Keg, sorry, uh, forgot to mention. Keg, we know most of the players. Uh, although by looking at them, you won't say, you know, they one of the good side or favorite, but they do play good football. Okay. And they, on the day, they can beat anybody. Yes. Um, uh, Nanu, your team is in Group A. Now, obviously, you have entered this Masters tournament for the first time. Now, how many of these teams you already know? And what do you know about their strengths? Uh, we've played a few teams like uh, Revive, uh, Birmingham, and uh, I think... Uh, is it Spartak Luton? Spartak Luton. Yeah, they're okay. all very good, decent teams. On their day, they can beat anybody. Mm. But we've entered, we, we want to win as well, so we've got a point to prove here as well. We've got a very strong team. Uh, there is no reason why we can't do well. And there's uh, other teams like, uh, what's it called? New, New, New Brothers, Brotherhood. Yeah. Yeah? Northwest Brotherhood. Northwest Brotherhood. Yes. We don't know much about them, but we've heard they're very well organized and a very good team. Yeah. So basically, we are looking forward to the tournament, and hopefully, we'll do well. Okay, Sadbai, um, do you want to run us through uh, through Group D? Uh, obviously, uh, you are one of the veterans uh, of football, and you would know probably yeah. most of the groups um, uh, teams there. I think yeah, I think from a neutral point of view, I think I would say that um, one of, a few of the teams that actually stand out. One obviously um, popular, I think we all know. Um, so they would be. You know, strong favourites to actually go through to the um, to the um, to the next round. Um, Saya again, I think we all know is a very strong team, and again they're very likely to be um, one of the favourites as well to go around. Um, Oldham Unity, um, uh, probably one of the dark horses. I've got to say, um, I'm not really sure exactly you know where they stand, uh, and again how well they will actually do on the day. So. You know, you know, if they turn up, you know, they could be a very good team. Uh, some of the other teams, um, you've got E1 Legends, and Camden Vets, and Bedford uh, Bengals. I think these are, I think, from my point of view, would be very much dark horses. And on the day, you know, they could prove themselves and uh, and progress and do really well. Okay. Uh, other than that, I think Popular Legends and Sire are probably the two strong teams that actually stand out in the in the group. We um, we will. Short, um, go for a short break, but when we come back, I want to hear from you 
from each individual group of your own, who do you think are the two likely teams that will come out of the group? Uh, so well, um, uh, viewers, we will go for a short break and when we come back we'll have further discussions. Asalaamu As Alaikum. <laughs>